This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. I want to remove some of the lint builds up inside the dryer. So I'm going to remove quarter inch screw, quarter inch screw to take this panel off. And that allows you to get into the cabinet really fast. Some models you have to do quite a bit of disassembly, but on the Duet dryer, so we can see there is lint that builds up. It's just normal. It happens over the years. So we're just going to unplug it, make sure it's no voltage in there, and we'll clean all that up. The area that where you, sometimes you get fires, usually they're not very bad fires, but you get a little bit of fire, is this big round thing is called the burner tube. And if the lint's near that, the flame will catch it on fire. So we're going to clean out this stuff. Plug that. We'll look inside here too to see if we see a lot of lint build up. We'll clean that. Okay, not that bad. There's a little bit here, but the area to the left is where you want to keep it clean. So we'll pull some of that out too. <clears throat> okay, reach back in there. I got long arms. Get some off the off of the vent tube. And this stuff is just <clears throat> little pieces of um, clothing that break off through the years and uh, problem is that it's usually little pieces of cotton and polyester and they're fairly combustible so you don't want to get this stuff near a flame and you actually would need a lot more than this to cause a fire but you can maybe once a year <coughs> pull that panel off reach in there pull out all you can you can get your hands on you can do more to get more out like on the motor but it involves a little bit more disassembly basically you got to get the front panel off in the manifold make sure you have it unplugged because if you reach in, there are some live connections and it's 110 volts, not terrible, but it can definitely surprise you. So I'm going to use this tool to reach in here and pull out some stuff. You can also use a vacuum attachment with a, a small uh, flexible hose hooked to it with some duct tape to get down in there. This thing works pretty good. Reminds you of uh, something you'd see on an arcade. So I open it up, grab some of that stuff, and then pull, and I can lift it out. I keep doing that until I get it all out. a big chunk right there too but uh, if you get rid of a lot of the lint the dryer can operate better because there's more room for airflow and you can get rid of the moisture faster but the more blocked it is then the longer the dryer has to work to get rid of the all the moisture in the clothing I'm going to open up those jaws, grab some, and I'm going to close the jaws, pull it out. That's a big chunk. You can see we're getting a fair amount out of this dryer. Makes a big difference. You can do this every load. Clean 
cool. Ran the dryer, it should feel like a hair dryer at the vent, but it was probably 80% of what you would feel, 20% occluded. So I'm gonna see if I can clean it out with this special tool. So I don't think it's very far of a run, maybe 12 feet. You can feel a little resistance. So this thing breaks up the lint but also pulls out any, accumula any accumulated lint. We're already about six feet in. A little bit, not bad. We're gonna go a little deeper. That's six feet, and we'll add another three foot section. When you buy these kits, they give you 12 feet. And it's usually enough for most places. Each section's three feet. Put it in your drill, tighten it, and make sure it goes to the right clockwise. Otherwise the ends can uh, undo inside the vent tube, which you don't want. As long as it turns that way, you're okay. Let's go a little more, we'll go to 12 feet. Just spin them on. And you can do it from inside also, but outside a little less dust. There we go. That's a fair amount. You can see we got a fair amount out of there. Alright, I'll we'll turn on the dryer. It should blow out the rest. Feels better, feels a little bit more like a hair dryer now. Cool. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.